Hi, I'm Adam, the learning coach. When I was in college studying calculus, I really did not have a mathematical mind. I had a lot of trouble learning the subject, and I spent the next 35 years trying to figure out why I wasn't good at it. And I sort of succeeded. Uh, so while I don't have the mind of a mathematician, I do have something that some mathematicians don't have, and that is the ability to tell you what I know and why I know it. And so if it's interesting to you, I'm gonna take you through just one little section of one calculus book and tell you how my mind is working as I now understand something that I couldn't understand 35 years ago. So this is the world's best calculus textbook. This is my Bible, something I've been studying for the last 35 years, George Simmons' Calculus with Analytic Geometry. I'm gonna open it up to a particular section that I've been studying recently. This is a section called Second Degree Equations, Rotations of Axes. And it's got a pretty complicated title, but the idea is really simple. Let's say you have just, you know, an x-axis and a y-axis, and you got a point there. And you want to know what would happen if you could if you took these axes and just rotated them. So you've got this thick, thick, and you just kind of imagine you're just turning it. So this bottom part goes here, and this top part comes over here. And what would you call that point now in relationship to these guys instead of these guys? It's not super hard to explain, but understanding all the pieces is a little hard. It starts with this sentence here. The general equation of the second degree in X and Y is, and it talks about that. The first thing I needed to know was what these terms mean. Uh, general equation, second degree, I had to know that just to understand that sentence. Um, as we continue on, it's not too hard here, but uh, there's a section right here that says the main problem before us is posed by the so-called mixed term BXY. I had to read this many times before I understood that that was the most important sentence in this little section. And that's another thing I have to know is what is this section about and how do I filter out what's most important so that I can organize all the other knowledge around it? Here, uh, we, it, there's a little formula given, and I have to know that this is the distance formula. I have to recognize all these letters and numbers and say, oh, this is how you figure out how far two points are away from each other. So if you have two points like this one and this one, this is what that looks like in math numbers, the distance between them. This is a particularly interesting thing I realized I knew how to do. Uh, it's talking about how to do these conversions, how to rotate these axes using numbers and formulas instead of just pictures. And uh, I had to know what these trigonometry things meant and why they were being used here. So when it said that uh, x equals x prime cosine theta minus y prime sine theta, I had to look at this graph and know what that meant, how this picture related to these formulas. And that meant I had to understand my trigonometry. I had to know what sine and cosine really meant as opposed to them just being names in my head. And then here's a really interesting thing. I had to understand how I knew this theta thing, this little Greek letter theta indicates how wide this angle is. And here it is up here again. And I had to ask myself, well, how do I know from this picture that those two triangles are really the same? And I had to figure out that this triangle is the same as this triangle and that this triangle would fit under here, I had to know all these similar triangle rules. So in my head, I had to work through that, and it took me quite a few times through to figure out exactly how I knew that, because they didn't tell me in this chapter. That was something I was expected to know. Here is some more trigonometry that I had to understand. Out of nowhere, it, the word cotangent is used. And so I had to know two things. I had to get cotangent from this, and that meant I had to do the algebra in my head. Um, move 
this over to this side, then move this under here. And because cosine over sine is cotangent, that's how I knew that. And over here is another situation where I had to know how to do algebra in my head. Here is an algebraic equation, and we made changes to it, and I had to know how we got from here to here. All of these things I needed to know in order to understand this chapter. And for those of us with good math brains, we just do them. The, you know, we don't always know exactly how we know. Only math teachers maybe know how we know. But because I've been so bad at math for so very long and I'm starting to get better, I can explain to you exactly what kind of things I now know how to do that I didn't know how to do before. I hope this was interesting for you. If you like uh, math videos of this kind, there are others in there. You can check them out and please like them and subscribe. And I hope to hear from you soon.